delicioso. Hello and welcome. In today's recipe, I'll be showing you how to make birria verde. Friends, you know that every time we hit a milestone, I like to gift you with one of my vault secret recipes, and this is no different. Today, I'm showing you how to make the birria verde, and I'm also gifting you the birria verde chili oil. Make sure to take note, look in the description area so that you guys can sell it, put it in your uh, recipe books. This is my gift to you. Let's get this party started, amigos. To your pot of boiling water, you wanna add your beef bones. We get a lot of questions about the beef that we use. I love using chuck for this recipe because it ends up being uh, really tender due to the fat and the marbling that it has. Now, for those of you that don't have access to the beef bone, you can use uh, the bone in chuck just like this, okay? I did this to impress you in case you're wondering. <laughs> and if you're going to a Mexican grocery store, you can ask for the esmillo en trozo. And you get the big, big chunk, like the one you would get for tamales for the holiday. You can divide that into your tamal meat. You can divide it into your uh, your shredded beef, beef your shredded so beef, your you birria. Do. This is a really important step for you guys. If you don't add enough water, it doesn't work out. If you add less water, it doesn't work out. You want to cover your beef with water. Once you've measured your water to your pot and your beef, you want to add some salt. You wanna make sure that you cover your beef with enough water and make sure that you have about two inches more, which ends up being a cup or two, uh, so that you can have enough consomme for everybody. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil this for about 10 to 15 minutes and we're gonna come back and skim out the impurities. Ta-da! Wow, we have a great selection. But we still have impurities, look at that. A lot of you like to boil and then strain everything and start all over, I'm gonna tell you that I like to conserve my water, it is sacred, and I rather skim and continue and keep the water and save some for my future generations. No, you're just a kind little soul. Sometimes, sometimes, Cloud. No, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you are. So just make sure to remove all the impurities. And if you're interested in these skimmers, I know the Views Club, we love these skimmers. They work for a lot of other things, not just for birria. And you can look in the description in our Amazon storefront where we link a lot of the stuff that we use. I feel like one of the requirements to be a views club is to have a kind heart and to have a skimmer. Right? Everyone has one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's true. You all have bad days, but we all have a really good heart and we have a skimmer. We do. Show up. <laughs> Once you've skimmed all the impurities, you're gonna add your chicken bouillon, bay leaves, Many of you are probably wondering what kind of chiles can we use for our birria verde. I'm gonna tell you to make it comfortable for your home, but I do find that using the Anaheim chiles or the Hatch chiles are the best for this recipe. If you like spicy, use Hatch, and if you like mild, go ahead and use Anaheim for the flavor, and also because you can adjust your spice level. So, let's add our Anaheim chiles. Make sure that you remove the seeds, and I just slice them in half like this. And because I wanna be in charge of the spice, I'm gonna be adding jalapeno. If you like the spiciness from your serrano, go ahead and use that. And one good thing about using the um, Anaheim peppers is that it's cost effective too for the recipe. It really is. I know that a lot of you have a difficult time finding it in the states that you're in and some of you guys are out of the country and that's okay. Just remember, pick a green chile and make it comfortable for your home and it should work. It's not gonna be the exact same thing, but it's gonna help you out with your cravings. We're gonna add some garlic, and I'm adding two this time because you know that our camerographer, my lovely sister Cloud, loves garlic. Woohoo! Toss them in there. Yes. And I wanna bring in the flavor, and onions have really been transforming my life lately, so I'm gonna be adding two onions. And to enhance the flavor in our broth, we're gonna be adding some green onion. Make sure that your chiles are covered in your broth. Same for your garlic and your onion, so that that way all the flavor can come through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to boil this on a medium low for one hour. So I'll see you guys in one hour. After one hour, you wanna take your Anaheim chiles and you wanna place them in your blender. You can put your green onions, you can put your uh, yellow onion, and if you want the garlic, you can actually blend it as well. And you wanna blend this with some of your broth. You blend this with fresh water, you're gonna change the flavor profile of our birria. 
And next, we're just gonna blend until smooth. I know some of you don't have a high-powered blender and that's okay. If you don't, uh, our next step is something that you're gonna wanna strain, but for us, we're just gonna blend until smooth. We're gonna start at a low and then we're gonna blast it. And boom, done, amigos. Time to pour it in our pot. Don't leave any of the flavors behind. I like to take a little bit of the broth, place it back in my blender, give it a little bit of a shake, and pour it right back in. Mix all your ingredients and continue to cook on a low temperature for another hour. And after one hour, you want to turn your pot off. And let's show you what we have brewing. Look at how beautiful the fat from our beef is pulling through right at the top. Oh my goodness, that's glorious. Let's check how tender our beef is. Yep, it, it's ready. Amigos, you know what time this is. This is time to make some birria quesa tacos. If you are ready, let me know in the comments. We are about to party. This sexy little thing I have here is the new addition of the Mr. Coffee coffee grinder, but you know that I love to grind my spices here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my bay leaves. I find that when you're using this coffee grinder and you have just a few things like the bay leaves, that you should start your engine, or your engine, <laughs> and then just pulse. And you're gonna get very nice little flakes. Let me show you. That smells so amazing with the aromas of the meat and stewing over there. And boom, done, amigos. We get some nice, perfectly blended little flakes. Add your oil to your pot. Today I'm using avocado oil, you can use canola oil, and you can even use olive oil. Once you add your oil, you wanna bring your temperature to 250 degrees. I know that we've gone 290 for our other oil, but for this one in particular, I've tried it. Just listen to me here, amigos. 250 degrees is gonna be perfect for what we need. We just need it to get nice and warm. You don't wanna be a Views Club member that burns their oil. We've Some of us have done that before. You don't wanna burn it. Our temperature's at 250 degrees now. I'm gonna transfer it over to our bowl so that you can see it better, but at home you can continue to do it on your pot. To the warm oil, you wanna add your hatched chili powder and mix as you're adding. For those of you that are wondering how you can find some hatched chili powder, you can go to uh, New Mexico, that would be fun. You can go to your local HEB, they also have it. And uh, for those of you that can't do one or the other, you can go into our Amazon storefront and we're, we're gonna be linking the one that we're using today. Black pepper, ground cumin, onion powder, and when you're adding your onion powder, take it easy and mix and combine well to avoid clumping. Garlic powder, Mexican oregano. Make sure to crumble it in your hand, just like this. This is how you're gonna put the love in your chili oil. And that's when you get the kids that say, oh, it doesn't taste like my mom's. This is why. Oh, okay. You're activating something. You are, Cloud. You're so romantic. Marjoram. And for those of you that don't have a preference for oregano or Mexican oregano, you can keep it out and do extra marjoram. This is just a milder version of it and it's also a cousin of the sage in a much sweeter way. Sweet like the Vies Club, you know. We all have a sweet cousin. Our bay leaves, cinnamon, ground clove, the spice, sugar, and not all chicken bouillon is created equal. If you're adding chicken bouillon, make sure to add it at the end. That way it doesn't clump up on you. I've been chatting with you guys in the comments and we've come to the conclusion that not everything's created equal in the bouillon industry. <laughs> That's right. And boom, done, amigos. I'm gonna pour this into my uh, chili oil containers. If you guys are interested, we'll also link that in the description area for you guys. And that's how Cloud and I keep our chili oils organized. And boom, done. We have our birria verde chili oil. And I wanted to make enough seasoning for you guys because I know the last one, we all love that seasoning on our eggs. We love it with our popcorn, our tacos, our chips and sour cream. And let us know in the comments what you like to use your birria chili oil for. This one looks so beautiful on the counter because it looks like gold specks floating around in there. This is just, press it down and 
I thought I was gonna get excited being the taquera today and today's cut just, oh, look at that, glorious. I've shredded our beef and I've added our broth. Look at that glorious broth, oh my goodness. Here is my tip to you. When you're using beef bone, it releases a lot of fat, that layer of fat that we all love that gives a bright color to our food. And if you add birria chili oil, it's to enhance your flavors. So what we're gonna do, you're just gonna grab your tortilla, you're gonna dip it into the broth, and it's gonna pick up the oil enough to crisp up your taco. You see that? That's very, that's brilliant. So boom, done, don't forget, try to get, find some beef bone. It's gonna come in handy at the end. So what I'm trying to say is that there's no two separate bowls here. There was enough fat released from our beef bone that we don't need anything else. Just dip it and move it along, amigos. I'm all the way up. <laughs> Make sure that when you're placing the beef on your tacos that you dunk it and soak it really well. Pick the cheese that your family absolutely loves. Today I'm using Mexican cheese blend. And if you like pepper jack, oh, it's gonna be great right now. Squeeze a little lime and a few drops of your birria chili oil. And that's just the gourmet side when you wanna impress your family, okay? Say, ah! amazing the broth is nice and light you would think it's gonna get you with that heat no those of you that know me know that I balance my flavor and when you taste this broth you're gonna be like Steph you did it again mm. Woo, we can celebrate together now <laughs> it's so good it's so so good it hits that delicioso level and you're like, oh, que delicioso. Is this that? is the delicioso. You know what's gonna make this better? What? A little Coke. Somebody's gonna say, no, una coca mexicana. Yeah, you're right, pero también es un litro. <laughs> this is a little Coke. Mm. Wow. I'm dripping, growing your napkin. Way to go, Views Club. You guys keep inspiring me. I'm gonna keep making these recipes for you and I'm gonna release them when we hit milestones and last I checked, you guys were waiting for a milli milestone. You mean a million subscribers? They, they're keeping count. We get uh, messages from all of our friends. Mm -hmm. You're almost there, girls, you're almost there. And those of you that are keeping count and aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because it's gonna happen. And thank you, guys, you for sharing our channel. Yeah. And our recipes with your family and loved ones. You guys are making it happen in your kitchen I'm so proud of each and every one of you. I can't even speak because this broth is so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's delicioso. It's delicioso. But what I'm trying to say is that you guys keep inspiring me, I inspire you, and we have a love for food, family, and life like nobody's business. Mm. I feel like Troop Beverly Hills when they said, how many boxes are you selling? I feel like, how many tacos am I gonna be eating? <laughs> I'm headed for number three right now, so we'll see. Well, it kind of helps to make the taco like a spoon if you have, <laughs> I'm just dripping everywhere. But if you have the beef in your bra, it's a spoon, it's a little bolt <laughs> that's carrying so much deliciousness. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!